In this video, we're going to be talking about menus, dragging and dropping to changing the order, and also in depth in states a little bit more. Here you can see that we have a relatively simple website structure. We've got a home, about, services, portfolio, and contact us pages. The services page has got a few pages that exist underneath it. I've made this simple example to print this out to the front end of a website. We can see how the pages match the structure that we've got under here. Let's say that we wish for the About Us page to be not included in the menu. Simply clicking Hide from Menu will exclude it from our menu. Unticking will immediately make it reshow. If we want the About Us page or any of the pages to be different, simply type in it into the internal menu title. Let's say that we want the portfolio to be the first item in the menu. Simply clicking on this resource and dragging it up will update its position. Not only can we do this for top levels, but we can also do this for sub ones also. We also have the ability to be able to change the order of parent containers too. Let's just reset this back to the default. What we can also do is drag items from one resource to another. If we grab SEO services and drop it under about, it will immediately change about into a automatic container with the item underneath it. And this will update in the site structure. If we hide a parent container, it will, by default, hide all of the items that appear underneath it. Here I've hidden about, and even though SEO services has been marked as not, it will hide the parent container as well. If we now drag that back, it will appear underneath here. Likewise, if we mark something as deleted, it won't show in the site structure either. This is also the same if something is unpublished. However, if something is unpublished, you will still be able to view it. Resources which have got arrows next to them indicate that they have items that exist underneath them. Complex menu structures can be made many, many levels deep. Let's publish this and make a simple change to our template to tell it to show us many items deep. Here we can see this structure working down nicely. 